last two weeks, four guns have been found in area schools, three in Birmingham City Schools with a deadly outcome on Wednesday. It makes you wonder where are children getting these guns? CBS 42 News reporter Jack Royer is live in Birmingham after posing that question to law enforcement and community activists who want to see a change. Jack? Yes, Sherry, that's right. After a tragic week comes to an end here in the Magic City, those new questions tonight that everyone is asking. Why are kids getting the guns? Where are they finding them? And what can be done to make sure kids and everyone stays safe? A 17-year-old student left dead leaves educators and state lawmakers searching for answers about why guns are popping up around classrooms in Birmingham. A lot of them are stolen guns. David Heitch's 30-year career with the ATF has shown him how easy it is for young people to have the tools for violence readily available as they continue prosecuting people that sell firearms to kids. We're interested in the people who profit by selling guns to kids illegal aliens, convicted felons. This week alone, three guns found in Birmingham City Schools, including the one used in the Huffman High School shooting that killed 17-year-old Cortland Arrington. Community activist Frank Matthews says it's a culture problem as children are raised thinking of violence as a solution to their problems. Children that don't have fathers sometimes, they think the gun is their father. When I was a gang member, my gun was my best friend. You got to get the mindset out that these guns is not your protector. They're not your daddy. They're not your mom. With questions about how to keep schools safe, officials say that guns flow freely on the streets and often end up in the wrong hands. That guns move as quickly as cash, just about on the street. They move very quickly. If they're taken from uh, people here locally, they're usually distributed locally, very quickly. Frank Matthews also told me that he believes oftentimes kids are turning to weapons and violence almost to protect themselves, not necessarily for the sake of violence, as we saw all too clearly this week. Live in Birmingham, Jack Royer, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.